All right, let's do a couple practice problems using probability with combinations. So a box contains four 40 watt light bulbs, five 60 watt light bulbs, and six 75 watt light bulbs. We're going to select three at random. So what's the probability that exactly two bulbs are 75 watts? So to do this, we know that we have six 75 watt light bulbs, and we want to pick two of them because that gives us exactly two. Then out of the remaining nine light bulbs, we're going to pick one of those. So what we're going to get is we're going to get six choose two times nine choose one of them. That gives us three light bulbs total where two are exactly 75 watts, but we're finding a probability. So this is going to be the probability of the total amount that we can pick. So there's 15 light bulbs total, and we can pick three of them. So uh, we can expand this out to get a number. Uh, six choose two is going to be 15. Nine choose one is going to be nine. And 15 choose three is going to be 455. You can verify that for yourself. I have these numbers ahead of me, so I can check these. And that's going to give us a probability of 0.2967. What's the probability that all three bulbs have the same wattage? So there's a few ways we can do this. We can take, well, four of, we have four 40 watt bulbs. So we could pick three of those and none of the rest. So that would be like saying 11 choose zero, which is just the same thing as one, but we'll include it here. Or, and because these are independent, we're gonna use a plus between them. There's five 60 watt light bulbs and we could choose three and there's 10 remaining. We're gonna choose zero of those. Same as just multiplying by one. And there's six 75 watt light bulbs. So that's saying we're gonna choose three out of those six and out of the remaining nine, we're gonna choose zero of those. And this is a probability. So we're gonna divide it by just randomly selecting three out of the 15. So this is gonna give us uh, 4 choose 3 is going to be 4 times 1 is 4, plus 5 choose 3 is going to be 10. That's just 5 times 4 divided by 2 times 1 gives us 10. And 6 choose 3 is going to be 6 times 4 times 3 divided by 6, which is going to give us 20. And this is all over a total of 455, same as in question A. And if we put this into a calculator, we'd get 0 0.0747 or 7.47% chance that this happens. All right, the last one. What's the probability that one bulb of each type is selected? So this means out of our 440 watt, we're going to choose one. Out of our 560 watt, we're going to choose one. And out of our 675 watts, we're going to choose one of those. And this will just be divided by 15 choose 3 at random. So this is just going to give us 4 times 5 times 6. Anything choose 1 is really easy. It's just the same as the top number. And that'll be divided by 455, which should give us about 0 0.2637 or a 26.37% chance. So out of all of these, the most likely outcome is going to be A, picking exactly two bulbs that are 75 watts. But this is just using combinations with choosing bulbs to give us a probability. Got one more question here. So 15 telephones have been received. Five are cell phones, five are cordless, and five are corded. So the first question asks, what is the probability that all of the cordless phones are serviced first? So we have five cordless phones. And we need to pick five of these. Now it seems like I've missed a bit of information. We're serviced first out of 10. So we're going to service 10 phones and we're going to pick the first 10. So out of the first, so out of the five cordless phones, we need to pick all five of those. And out of the remaining 10 phones, we need to pick five of those. 
And this will be divided by the fact that we have 15 phones total and we're servicing 10 of those. So if we plug this in, five choose five is just one. We're multiplying that by 10 choose five, which is 252. And we're dividing this by 15 choose 10, which is 3,003. So this gives us 252 over 3,003, which is 0 0.0839 or 8.39%. Now the next question is a little bit more involved. So what is the probability that after serving 10 phones, only two of three types are left to service? Now, what this means is that we're basically going to choose five phones to not be serviced. So what we're going to get here is 10 choose five. So out of the 10 that we're servicing, we're choosing five of them to be serviced. But we don't want to include any outcomes where the last five are going to all be the same. So there's two ways this can happen. Let's say out of the 10 that we choose, of the five that we choose, we're picking one type here. So 10 choose five out of the one type. Um, we then do all of the cordless, or then we do all of the cell phones or all of the corded. So there's going to be two possible ways that we can pick our remaining types where all five are the same. And this is going to be divided by the fact that out of the 15 that we're doing, we're servicing five of them in the end. Now, this is just one situation. So imagine out of these 10 choose five, the first ones that we're doing are say all of the cells. Well, this accounts for that scenario, but there's also a scenario where we do the same thing, but we pick all of the corded. And there's another scenario where we do the same thing and then we pick all of the cordless ones. So to account for this, we're going to end up multiplying this first bit by three in order to account for all three of the first types that we pick where all five are the same. So what we're going to get in this case is three times, well, we know 10 choose five is 252. We're subtracting two of these and 15 choose five is over 3003. That's going to be the same thing as 15 choose 10. So when we multiply this out and divide, we're going to get 0.2498 or otherwise known as 24.98%. Now, the last question, what is the probability that two phones of each type are among the first six serviced? This one is actually a little bit easier. So out of the first type of five, we're just choosing two of those. Out of the second bit of five, we're choosing two of those. And out of the last bit of five, we're choosing two of those. And out of the 15 phones, we're choosing to service six of those. So in this case, uh, five choose two is going to be five times four divided by two, which is 10. So we're gonna get 10 times 10 times 10. 15 choose six is going to give us 5,005. So this is a thousand over 5,005, which gives us 0.1998 or 19.98%. So out of the three here, the most likely outcome is that after servicing 10 phones, only two of the three types are left to service. So that was some practice problems with combinations and probability. Hopefully these weren't too bad. Uh, these are always tricky to get at first, but with probability and counting, it's just a matter of picking how many you're gonna choose and considering some situations. I definitely think that three here was probably the toughest one. I should mention in this case, we could have also written 15 choose 10 here out of the 10 that we're servicing rather than out of the five we have left to service in this case, uh, their equivalent. In fact, a general fact that is pretty helpful to know is that n choose k is always equal to n choose n minus k. So 15 choose 10 is the same thing as 15 choose 15 minus 10 which is the same thing as 15 choose 5. 
So you can use that information to help you simplify some calculations if you can do them in your head with small numbers. So anyways, that's the video. If you have questions, you know what to do.